still don't understand why we're doing this. I don't either. I'm mad at Adrian, Adrian's mad at me. End of story. Just keep painting what you're feeling. Because here's the deal. Art is more than pretty colors. It can help you process emotions, even resolve conflicts when you can't find the right words. Okay, paintbrushes down. Looks like we have similar themes at work here. We do? For starters, you both stayed inside the border. Nothing messy. Usually means a need for perfection. Hey, even stick figures have to be precise. Speaking of figures, you both drew more than one. That's my familia. Colorful and grande. Mine too. The two big ones are my older brothers and the little one's me. You both painted at the bottom of the canvas. Usually a sign of insecurity, but I think we can all agree that you two are the poster girls for confidence. <sighs> Not always. My papa is a respected diplomat around the world. My mama is fluent in six languages, and my abuela created Cafe Adams from nothing. Sometimes I wonder if I have what it takes to live up to their standard of excelencia. I can totally relate. Both of my brothers are freakishly accomplished. I'm always trying to do something crazy awesome so I don't live in the ginormous shadows. Sounds exhausting. It is. Sometimes trying to be perfect makes me do local things. Like losing it over a fallen souffle and pushing one of my best friends away. And sometimes when I feel like I failed at something, like letting down my best friend, I kind of get uptight and just walk away. I'm sorry, Bryden. Hey, look at that. Your time's up. Mm -hmm. Astronauts who are lucky enough to journey to Mars certainly won't be cooped up inside the half 24 hours a day. The spacesuits you're wearing supply you with oxygen, water, and protection. From harsh temperatures to carbon dioxide danger to thanks to the thin EMI silver fiber lining, harmful radiation. Remember, those heavy suits will feel weightless in zero G. <laughs> T-Dubs looks like T-Doofus. Back off, Zach. I got you. Thanks, Ember. With practice, it gets easier. OK, I'd like you all back here at 7 o'clock sharp for your overnight. I think my helmet's too big. Not that I'm complaining. Mind you. I thought you might enjoy the extra breathing room. Switched yours out earlier. Who's wearing mine? Oh, come on. Uh, 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 mm. ah. <laughs> I knew his big head would be good for something. <laughs> Boy, I sure am glad you two are on my side. Always. Cam, can you believe my mom's going on a date with your dad? He seems really nice. Yeah, he's not really. That's not true. Yes, he is. They'll have fun. Or not. No, they will. They might. It's just a date, right? One date. <laughs> Gotta go. See you tonight, T-Dubs. You OK? I'm sorry, just took a brief trip to Planet Freak Out. It's all good. It is good, right? You tell me if it was a good. I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't know if it's good, which does make me feel kind of bad. You can understand, right? Right? <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Jesus, you are not gonna believe this. Remember when I said I'd find a way to thank you for hiring me this summer? And I said it wasn't necessary. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I found a way. Olivia James is coming to Cafe Adams! Eso es imposible! I remember you telling me how Olivia James is a culinary genius and how she brought nutritional foods into classrooms across the country. Well, she's coming to Space Inc. to develop a sustainable menu for Mars exploration, and she's looking for outside contributions to her menu! <gasps> I can't believe this. This is a dream come true. Wait, wait, it gets better. I used my social media followers to convince her that when in Maywood Glen, the place to go was Cafe Adams. <laughs> she posted about it and made a point that she's gonna be here Friday night. <laughs> if I can prepare something sustainable, healthy, and delicioso, maybe she will include it in her Mars menu. Okay, stay calm. Bryden, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I can use all of my culinary chemistry skills to show they have a place in science and space. Promise me he will help me make something perfecto. Promise me, chica. I will, I promise. Pinky swears.
Okay, too tight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Professor Cato's a big deal scientist and he lives in a trailer? Looks like someone left in a hurry. Really? Kinda looks like my room. So what, Kato fails to steal the biomed prototype and decides to get out of town before someone catches on to him? Could be. Check for anything suspicious. I'll dust for prints. By the way, love the new bag. Digging the purple. One of the perks of being the owl. Okay, these are creepy. Never understood the obsession with clown paintings. Looks like the professor was moving into mixed media. Check out the treasure chest. Of course, it's locked. Bingo. Flash drive. Can you tell us about some of the programs you and the others have contributed? Uh, sure. Right this way. Uh, so this is Ember Evergreen and Bryden Bandwidth, and they've created... Created Maywood Glen's very own vertical forest <laughs> by planting hundreds of plants and vegetation all over Stone Acres. We calculate that the plants will consume carbon dioxide and deliver between 75 and 100 kilograms of oxygen per day. And with my sick computerized control drip irrigation system, I mean sick like amazing, not sick like bleh, <laughs> we'll be able to minimize water use by 75 to 80 percent. We like to say drip is the new cool. We don't say that. We could. We won't. OK, uh, thanks, guys. Uh... Amazing, right? OK, now you have to try this. Good job, girls. <laughs> um, and this is Adrian Adams and Cameron Coyle. And they created Cycle Sickle. Using pedal power, the ice and salt churn at a higher rate, creating a culinary explosion of flavored helado ice cream. Using zero energy from the grid. Try my culinary white chocolate with ancho chili pepper. Like me, fabulous with a bit of a kick. Wow, so inventive. Don't look at me. The students of Maywood Glen deserve all the credit. Michaela in particular, she is a wonderful role model for all young women, including my daughter. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Mr. Stone, right in bandwidth? I remember, drip is the new cool. And you would catch on, hashtag trendsetter. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that I am a huge fan of Stone Television Network. I watch it all the time. And it actually inspired me to make my own web series. It's called Bryant's. You know, Brad and Science. Bryant's. Get it? I do. I'll have to check it out sometime. Really? Send me the link. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, Jesus, he's going to watch the show! Oh, Michaela. I just want to thank you again for spearheading the new engineers program, especially considering my history with your father. I was glad to help, and it's okay. My father hasn't been a part of my life for a long time. Well, as a way of saying thank you, my wife and I would like to invite all the volunteers from Maywood Glen Academy to our home for dinner one night. That'd be great. I'm sure Brian will be there. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, taste testers! Hurry up and drink this while it's still ever resting in liquid form. Really think she could help us? Duh. Remember her exploding cream puffs from the science fair? She could whip up anything. I'm calling it AG's pink drink. Safety first. Careful. I don't want curiosity to kill the can. Hmm. Tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough in a glass of milk. Pass. I just whitened my teeth. It's a secret recipe passed down from my grandma. She's known as the best culinary chemist in Spain. Culinary chemist? That's a thing? Yes, of course it is. Adri, do you want to help us with a top secret investigation? Secret investigation? You mean like Mission Impossible? Uh, yeah, like Mission Impossible. Oh, I love those movies. When I was little, I used to watch them all the time. I even told my parents I wanted to work for the Centro Nacional de Inteligencia. It's like the CIA in Spain. Know anything about lifting fingerprints? Hmm. $1.5 million, an exorbitant amount of money by any account for a vacation. But for Prince Xander of Canterbury, known throughout social media as the Brillionaire Prince, it's another extreme stunt that has him yet again in the international spotlight. It's totally awesome! As the impending launch looms, the Prince appears ever more carefree about the possible mortal danger. Now's our chance. <sighs> I'm so sorry, I didn't see your petite little feet there. We haven't met. I'm Adrian Adams. Adrian, wanna do lunch sometime? I'm such a foodie. I know all the fanciest places to eat in this town. There's like two, but they're fabulous. again. Can't seem to hold on to my supplies around you. Weird, huh? Uh, that's my pen. Uh, you don't want this pen. It got sticky from the sticky ground. But I like sticky things. Sticky glue, sticky notes, sticky rice, sticky tape, sticky sticks. <laughs> uh, so here, take mine. Um, Okay. Project Day. 